In this video, we're going to continue looking at activity three. We've completed query A, the easier query, and we're going to look at B, the more complex query. Query B, let's have a look at it. Staff members currently employed can receive bonus payments. If they've worked for the company for at least three years, the bonus is £1,000. If they work for the company for less than three years, the bonus is £200. Create a query to display what the bonus will be for each current staff member with a performance grade of excellent. We need to calculate the number of years worked and the bonus. We're going to display in the query the staff surname, the staff start date, the number of years worked and the bonus. OK, we're in Access now and we're going to start creating Query B. So we're going on to Create and we're going to use Query Design. The first thing to do is to add the tables to the query. Showing queries at the minute, if you just click on Tables and we want TBL staff. And we also want TBL grade because we want to be able to search for those that have got an excellent grade. Just make sure that you've got your relationship line between your tables in the query window. If there isn't a connection between these tables in the query, your query won't work correctly. And you might need to add some further tables. This one looks OK. We'll just drag that out so we can see all of the fields in the table. So the first thing we want is the surname. So I just double click to put that into the grid. Let's pull that up a bit. We also need the start date. And then the next thing to do is to work out how many years that the staff have worked. Now, there's various different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you one way. And just a word of caution, when you come to do this, obviously this paper was taken, I think it was the 12th of May 2022. Because we're going to be using the date of the system, you might get some different results if you do this query, obviously, after that date. I've actually set the date on my system back to the date of the exam, so I know that I get the correct results. Let's click in this next column. I'm going to do a right mouse click and build. And I'm going to call this worked years and a colon. And we're going to work out the worked years. I'm going to do this in bits and build it up. Right, I'm going to use a thing called date diff. Open bracket. All right, date diff is a function and it works out obviously the difference between two dates. Now the first part of the date diff is saying which part of the date do you want to find the difference. So I'm going to do it in months. So months. And then we need to put in the start date. Then a comma. And then date, which we'll get, is another function. It gets the date of the system. And then close the bracket. Now that will work out the date difference between the start date and today's date, looking at the months. Let's just click on OK and have a look at that, see what we've got. OK, so we've got our names, our start dates, we've got our years worked. That years worked, we need to turn, we've got it in months at the minute, we need to turn it into years. So let's go back to design view. Let's go back to this build. And what I'm going to do is divide all that by 12 and OK. 12 months in a year, of course. So let's have a look at what we've got now. OK, that's good. We've got the actual months now, but as you can see, we've got a number of decimal places. So what I'm going to do is find the integer of this worked years next. So back to design view, back to build. And I'm going to put in front of this int 
which finds the integer, again it's a function, then open bracket and then a close bracket at the end. And that should now find me the integer. Let's click on OK and go to View. And there we have the integer. Now we can see at the minute it was those people who'd worked three or more got a bonus of a thousand. So at the moment we've got the guy and Hartnell who potentially will be getting a two hundred pound bonus. But we haven't finished the query yet because obviously, first of all, we need to make sure the current staff members and also that the performance grade is excellent. And something else I might do when I've worked out that bonus grade is format it to currency. Okay, so let's work out the bonus next. So back to design view. In the next column, right mouse click and build. And I'm going to call this bonus calc and colon. Okay, and the bonus count, we're going to use the if function. And what I'm going to look at is, is the worked years greater than two? If it's greater than two, then the bonus is a thousand. If it's not greater than two, it's less than three, then the bonus is 200. Close the bracket. Just recap on that, we've said if, and then we've got the test, worked years, we're saying is that greater than two? If it is, the bonus is a thousand. If it's not true, the bonus is 200. And click on OK. And let's have a look at what we've got. Right, OK, so we've got our bonus calc now, and we can just check if that F's work properly. So anything with 2, yeah, is 200, and anything that's 3 or above is 1,000, so that's fine. I'm just going to save my query at this point. So let's call it QRY bonus calc. Always a good idea to save as you're going along. So the next thing we need to do is make sure that these are current staff and that they've got a performance grade of excellent. And also, I'll format that bonus calc to currency. So back to design. I'm just clicking on bonus calc. I'm going to go up to the property sheet for it. Get rid of that. And if we click on format and the down arrow, we can then select currency. So that's dealt with that. OK, next thing is to make sure that all these people are current staff. So if we put in the leave date and in our criteria, make sure that is, is null, i.e. there's no leave date, so they must be current. And then the final thing is for those staff that have got an excellent grade. So that was the grade description. And in here it is, we're looking for the ones that are excellent. All right, I'm just going to show that for now. Let's run it and see what we've got. OK, we should have four members of staff. We've got the years worked, we've got the correct bonus. None of them have got a leave date, so we know they're all current staff. And they've got the grade description of excellent. Just going to go back to finish off now because we need to display the surname, the start date, the number of years worked and the bonus. We don't need the leave date showing and we don't need the grade description showing. So click on the show arrows and view. And there we go. That's our bonus calc query completed. In the next video, we'll be showing you how to do the report, and that's Activity 3C.